Where did it go? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a very exciting tarantula unboxing. Here we go! Inside this box from my friends over at Fang Hub Tarantulas, I have three old world tarantulas. I also ordered a lava spider, and if you don't know what a lava spider is, they're a little difficult to find and a little pricey. I know they retail for about $200 here in the United States. I'm not really sure what the availability or cost is like in Europe, but I'm sure it is probably much different. But yeah, this is not sponsored. However, I do know that Fang Hub Tarantulas and Tarantula Cribs have paired up. Right now, Fang Hub is running a deal where if you purchase a sling from them, you get a free sling enclosure from Tarantula Cribs. I'm not really sure how long that deal is going on. I think it's while supplies last. So if you guys have not checked out Fang Hub Tarantulas, now is a really good time to. I, I might be a little biased because full disclosure, I mean, it is run by some of my very best friends in the hobby, but I also would never recommend somebody to you guys that I don't trust with you. So definitely check them out. I'll go ahead and put a link down below and I should probably stop talking so that we can get right into this. I'm scared. I never unbox old world tarantulas. I don't, I, 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 I Guys, I'm so scared. Ugh. See, it, what freaks me out about old world tarantulas, it's not their venom potency, stuff like that. I'm really not worried so much about getting bit. I'm more worried about their speed and how fast and bolty they can be. So yeah, that is like my main concern opening them. I just want you guys to know I'm not worried about them like trying to eat me or something. <laughs> my fear just completely stems from me not wanting to lose them. Um, hasn't happened before, but I'm sure it's possible. So yeah, we're just gonna be really careful. Ah, oh, sweet. There's a heat pack in here, nice and warm. All right, I don't know what is what. Is this... Oh, this is all of them? Is this all of them? Oh my gosh. Okay, so as you see, I have two P. Ligardi. Now these are actually cousins of the OBT Tarantula, and I know that sounds scary, but I have an OBT. She is an adult female. I don't show her much because she rarely comes out, but I did raise her from a tiny, tiny, tiny sling. And I am now being forced into taking an OBT this little one. And now she's an adult female. So she matured in about four years time. These are actually supposed to be really good beginner old world tarantulas. They still are old world. They still are a bit defensive, but they're not as quick to kind of show that attitude and comparison from what I hear. Now this is the one that you might recognize. I did have an adult female Seymour Shali, but if you're up to date on my current videos, I unfortunately lost her probably to age. I did buy her as a mature female and she did molt a couple times with me. So it's very likely it was just a natural old age death. However, I still have my Ceratogyrus Sandiri and my Ceratogyrus Darlingi and I just felt very like sad that I didn't have a Marshali anymore. So Amy actually sent me a picture of this Marshali and it's like a really good size. So I had to order it. This was like the main thing at the time when I first placed my order that I wanted until I heard that she got those lava spiders. So this is going to be the lava spider and we are going to be opening this rarity after we get these three done first, just because I want to get the old worlds out of the way and not stress about it. And then we can enjoy unboxing the lava spider, I hope. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly put their enclosures together and then we are going to start getting them out of the vials. Okay, so I did make all their enclosures and I really like them. So I will talk a little bit more about them as we unbox. I guess let's start with something I'm familiar with, which is the C. Marshali. Again, these are old worlds, but I am at least familiar with the species enough to kind of have an idea of what to expect. Here is the Marshali. Okay. Oh. 
sorry. There it is. Yeah, they've got a nice little web going on in there. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's so cute, you guys. It doesn't have its horn or anything yet. They don't actually grow their horn until later, just so you know. I've never had a sling one. I've always had adults only, so look at its little claws. All right, well, so far it seems to be pretty calm for, you know, an old world. Let's see if I can just continue to poke it out. Just a little. Come on. Yep. What do you think? Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? You guys? Did that go in there? Oh my god. Hold on. I... <laughs> ah, this is why I hate unboxing old worlds. I just... Oh my god. You saw how fast it was, right? You saw how it was cool until it wasn't, right? Okay, so I'm going to show you where it is. See its little butt? Oh my god, what a relief. <laughs> okay, so that is what I'm talking about with their speed. It's not their attitude or their venom. It is literally just that insane freaking speed. But there it is safe and sound inside of its new enclosure one of my special tarantula cat enclosures from tarantula cribs and as you guys can see i did a mix of different substrates i did the i actually used jungle mix because they are not a humid species they actually prefer it quite dry so we just did some jungle mix and i also did this stone desert stuff from exoterra which i really have been enjoying it i really like it i used it with my scorpion a few videos back and i'm really happy with it so yeah i mixed it all together and uh yeah i think that's pretty good so let's move on to these p lagardis and hope that they are not going to bolt like that <laughs> so i actually ordered two of these p lagardi because i want to give one to mo over at tarantula cribs one of these is for him i'm just gonna be probably a little bit more careful to be honest okay you guys see the little feets I'd like it if you would just come out so I don't have to pretend to squish you around I guess that's not gonna happen huh all it's done is like back up in there even more. Oh, it's a webbed up. Oh, this is smaller than I thought. Oh, it's a little, okay, it's it's a little bit smaller than I was expecting, but I think it's gonna be fine. Like the ventilation's fine, so it's not going to like get out of the enclosure. It's just gonna be a little big, but that's fine that they probably grow pretty steady like the OBT, and so it'll be like less rehousings, which I am like completely fine with, as I'm sure you can guess, so yeah. I don't care. I don't care. All right, very carefully going to try to poke it out. <sighs> okay, you're gonna have to come out, my dude. Hi. so quickly okay <laughs> oh my gosh so fast all right <gasps> yay what i really like about these other than the fact that they're supposed to be more docile is 
that they actually are known to make trap doors in the wild. They don't really make them in captivity very often, but sometimes they do, especially if the conditions are right, which is why I really tried to make the texture of this substrate a little more similar to how it would be over in Africa. And yeah, as you guys see, I think that this is actually a pretty good size enclosure. It's big, but that's perfect because that is less rehousings for me and also less rehousings for it. Um, to have to go through <laughs> it basically it's less traumatic for all of us if I just go larger from the get-go So yeah, okay, we have one down. Um, I think I'll probably keep this one just because we have a connection It's the first one I unboxed. So <laughs> Let's uh, let's do Moe's now if this spider is mean to me It's your spider and I just want you to know that it reflects on you as a person how mean this is to me <gasps> ah, I'm scared Okay so the other Lugardi was super chill until I started poking it around. So I'm gonna probably guess the same sitch is gonna happen here. Oh, this thing is super webbed. Of course it is. Eh. I don't like that. I should just throw this uh, whole thing in there and be like, good luck. <laughs> good luck getting your spider out. You wanna see it? You can, you can unbox it yourself. It just makes it even more ominous because I can't see like what it's doing in there. I don't know what it's thinking. Oh, okay, I broke the webbing and it moved. Don't eat me. Don't run across my floor. <laughs> oh, I see your butt is there. So you're like facing the wrong way. Isn't that funny? <laughs> okay, bringing you guys in made a nice little web. Do you want to come out? I really like your web. I think it's pretty sick. Oh, look at it. <laughs> you are crazy. Oh my gosh. These things are pretty freaking cool though. I have to admit they're scary, but they are really cool. Look at them. Like look at their little abdomens. They look a lot like OBTs. That would make sense since they're the same genus. Wow, it's so cool. It's just scary because in the amount of time it takes for me to crack open these enclosures, it can be on the other side of the enclosure faster than I can close it. Like that's how quick they are. Okay. Okay. Woo! Did it! Heck yeah. All right. So, oh, well, now it's gone. <laughs> That's probably where it's going to make its little burrow right there. Um, hopefully it'll make a trap door for him. Um, but yeah, okay, cool. Well, we did it. Uh, I did it. <laughs> it has been done. So now it's time for the main attraction, which is the lava spider. So hopefully this one will be a little bit better behaved than the others we just unboxed since it is a new world species. As you see, I have made the lava spider's enclosure much more humid than the other three we just did because this is going to actually need humidity whereas humidity too much of it could actually hurt the other three species we unboxed today so i did reptis soil which is my favorite substrate to hold humidity without molding i also put in this plant which is not doing its best um and this nice little skull water dish and then a hide some moss some leaves um i'm gonna go ahead and slip in a few springtails that will make its enclosure nice and tidy Moment of truth. Please don't be an asshole like your friends. Oh boy, this is smaller than I thought also. I don't know why they all looked so big on Amy's hand. She sent me pictures of them in her hand. All right, you can see it's nice and cozy down there. And man, I can already see that it has a really awesome coloration. Oh, there you go. Oh my gosh. Whoa, I love it. Oh my God, that is so cool. Look at that color, oh my gosh. So pretty, I can see why they call it a lava tarantula because it like totally looks like a lava spider. It looks like lava. Yeah, it's really cool. All right, I'm going to, oh my gosh, that is a bolty one too. Fortunately, when it bolted, it didn't do like six laps around the enclosure <laughs> like the other ones. And she found a safe space. Already she hid right under there. Um, so yeah, I don't foresee us seeing her too much for now since she is a baby and very shy, but um, hopefully we'll get more footage of her as she grows and stuff like that. I mean, same with all of them. Um, 
But yeah, I'm really happy with my order. I love everything. I'm very excited to have all these new additions. I feel like it's been a while since I've gotten like slings to grow out. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. And like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I'm in Instagram videos probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. And it's all linked down below. And I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pick.